Yo, welcome Fronies. So you have probably seen it on the thumbnail and you're here because you're a free to play player that wants to farm a bunch of Lucent. And good news for you is it is possible to play that game completely as a free to play player and still be somewhat relevant and cause there's many sources on how you can gain the cash shop currency Lucent. So let's jump right in. And if you follow all of those steps, you can farm a shit ton. So the first source and the one that almost everyone is doing is basically farming dungeons. You have, you can stack them up to 4,500. You will get 900 every day. If you complete a dungeon, there will be a chest in the end that you can open for 300 tokens. And there you are getting the loot that is being displayed. The loot to prevent um, bots from abusing the systems, the loot cannot be directly sold. But if you're, for example, at the contract coin merchant, you will be able to purchase trade extraction stones. You're getting them from many other sources like killing mini bosses, participating in guild contract guild events all of that so there's many sources on how to get them and those stones will be used to remove the trade that is on the item that you're dropping and then you can put the trade up for sale in the auction house and this is the most reliant way to get loosened every day but this is kept to free runs so if you're having no drop luck this is also not working well but you should still do it every day there's other ways where you can do it almost unlimited and it means just like the more time you spend the more lucent you will gain out of it and one of those ways is actually the reselling of course you cannot do it when you're at the start of your journey but once you have stacked up a couple of lucent and you have like a budget you can start sniping for resales and the way you do this is with the favorite system so if you're clicking on stars here you can favorite certain items they will then be in the favorite list so while you're playing like every 15 20 30 minutes ish you will go into the auction house you will check your favorites is there something of value is there something uh, maybe like extremely underpriced yeah and then you will buy it when you are calculating your return of investment always make sure that you're factoring in the tax rate otherwise you might make a loss also maybe if you're wondering um, why this character is 55 Currently, the servers are down in EU. That's why I'm recording the video in Korea. I actually wanted to show you also like some of the resales that I already did, especially at the server start. With the green and blue trades, many people underestimate the value of them, sell them cheap. People sometimes go and look at the lowest price. So if you're going to auction house and you want to sell an item, you will see lowest price and highest price. Yeah. If it's about a normal regular item, this will give you an indicator on what the items are currently going for. But if this is a trade, then people will sell different trades at different values, but it will show here the cheapest value for all the trades. So some people that don't understand the system will then say, oh, okay, my, I have that item as well, and I will sell it for 60 now. But maybe the trade that they're selling is actually worth like 300. And you can snipe many people in in the early game especially but later also that are doing that mistake so make sure that you're checking for the items with the highest profit you favorite them and then you start your reselling process sorry to interrupt but short self-promotion is needed currently 91.2 percent of the people watching the videos are not subscribed to the channel so let's make a deal if you learn something new in this video you have to subscribe. So the next thing that we need to understand to gain Lucent is the Lithograph system. You will access it here in your inventory and it will then allow you to turn items that you have dropped into Lithograph. So let's take that pants here, for example. With the precious blank Lithograph parts here, I can turn that into a Lithograph, which I can then sell in the auction house. This is another way to sell items that are not like sellable and you can earn Lucent that way. But that is not the only thing you can do here. Cause this how the way how the crafting system works in Throne and Liberty is that if you're getting a trade success during crafting, you will get the item twice. So basically, you can do that with really expensive items. And as long as you have enough craft materials, you can try to double the items and also double your value that way. And now the next one might be surprising, but this is your unlimited Lucent farm method. Cause the life skills can actually give you Lucent. With the same system, where we're having crates success while you're crafting food you can then sell that on your auction house and here 
it's just the amount of time that you put in will be your outcome there's no limits on it so you have to make sure that you are leveling your cooking your fishing and your expedition all of them also because the expedition will give you lots of the materials that you will need to level up your cooking and in the fishing you will catch the fish that you need again for cooking and cooking is what you're doing for the food that you put in the auction house so this is your cycle expedition fishing cooking um you will realize that once you start cooking some materials can be farmed from monsters the first one that you will struggle for example is actually the salt and one trick here is if you are going to the wind hill shore right here all of those monsters are dropping the salt they are really low level you can almost one shot them and this is how you can set your first demand of salt and you can also send your amitoids to expeditions that gather salt for you this is how you level up your cooking and go into the sales process first but there will also be a detailed cooking guide um, following shortly explaining exactly in which order you should craft a certain things to max out the level 21 cooking as fast as possible because if you are at 21 cooking your great success rate will increase and you can sell more stuff in your auction house and therefore earn more lucent another viable option to earn lucent is actually selling the gems like rubrics marant emirate and stellar in the auction house and one trick is that not many people are doing as soon as it starts raining there can marant ores can basically um, appear everywhere on the world instead of like the normal ores that you see like the gigantic moonstone stuff like this they will also have marant ores and you can go there and mine it option number two to get Marant is um, every time there's a gigantrite event you can go on the back of the big whale and you can farm the Marant there but you do have to make sure not every Marant or every gem is sellable so um, try to use the ones that are not sellable for your upgrading and the ones that are sellable well to sell no? then next up are the open world dungeons like for example Silas Abyss here um, Ant Nest um, Temple of Silas and the ones that um, will unlock later um, as well like the um, Sanctum of Desire, Shadow Crypt or Zaradoma Island. Like all of those have one thing in common. If you go there with um, contract tokens, the monsters will get an additional loot. That means they will drop gems, they will drop um, items that you can use for trading, for selling, and um, you will get a bunch of solemn. So this is a good source to also earn lucent and if you only care about lucent and you do not care about solent you will be using the golden apple pie because this will increase your abyssal contract token efficiency by 10 percent so you will get to drop more items that you can sell for lucent another thing you should make sure is um, to do that farm correctly that you have a lot of army toys because the more army toys you are getting the more abyssal contract token efficiency you will be farming and the same goes for pulse energy try to complete the ones that have the abyssal code track token efficiency here to earn the most lucent uh, and now <laughs> probably most people will not like to hear in global you can do two characters on one account and the account has a shared lucent everything else is character but the lucent is shared and stuff like cosmetics is also shared but we're talking about lucent here and that means if you are doing all of your dailies and all of what i just said on two characters well you guessed it now you will have twice the reward so even though you don't need to play all to change your weapons and all of that you actually if you're a free-to-play player i highly recommend you playing at least two characters if you have the time to do so yeah and as always if you have any questions just leave a comment below the video i will try to answer everything in less than 24 hours cheers guys